Hey everyone, welcome back to Installation 00, and more specifically, welcome to the Armory. This is where all weapons from Halo Law will be featured and analysed in detail. In this episode, we look at the Spartan Laser. Let's begin. The Weapon Anti-Vehicle Model 6 Grindel Galalian Non-Linear Rifle, or the WAV M6 GGNR, or more commonly known as the Spartan Laser, is a man-portable, solid-state, directed-to-energy anti-vehicle weapon used by the United Nations Space Command. It is one of the very, very few directed-to-energy weapons employed by UNSC forces, aside from the pulse lasers used by the Office of Naval Intelligence Prowlers and the X-23 NNEMP cannon used by the Gremlin Combat Support Vehicles. The Spartan Laser was originally created in concert with the Gungnir Mjolnir Armor variant as part of Project Gungnir, a program designed to provide supplementary material for the Spartan 2 program, hence the Spartan Laser moniker. The Spartan Laser is a shoulder-fired weapon firing a powerful microsecond-long pulse of energy capable of burning through the thick plates of metallic laminates, nanocomposites, or hardened steel. When the trigger is pulled, a red target in laser is painted on the target accompanied by an audible whine as the weapon cycles up. The Spartan laser will then charge for approximately 3 seconds before discharging the main laser. As the Spartan laser charges, the charging tone gets noticeably louder and increases in pitch up until the laser is fired. The firing sequence can be aborted without discharging the battery as long as the weapon is not actually fired, for example if the target moves out of sight or the operator needs to displace. When the weapon is equipped, a shroud over the emitting lens of the laser lifts up to expose it, presumably to protect it from scratches and battle damage when holstered. A small hydraulic or pneumatic cylinder on the left side of the shroud actuates the shroud, where it is anchored to the chassis of the weapon. The Spartan laser is equipped with a smart-linked wired 3 optic suite for increased accuracy and is capable of 3x magnification. Its reticle, whether on 1x or 3x magnification, features a meter on the right side showing the charging status of the laser. A tick mark rests at the bottom of the circular-shaped reticle while the laser is dormant and gradually travels along the reticle circumference until it reaches the point of origin indicating the laser is currently discharging. The Spartan laser measures up to 47 inches or 120cm in length, 7.7 inches or 20cm in width, and 15.4 inches or 39cm in height. Empty it weighs 19.07kg or 42 pounds, and fully loaded it weighs 20.4kg or 45 pounds. Contrary to popular belief, the Spartan laser is not a one-hit, one-kill weapon. In gameplay, damage is inflicted on a target by means of multiple precision strikes from the laser. Instead of what appears to be one intense, uninterrupted beam of energy, the laser has actually multiple but smaller charges of energy sent downrange in rapid succession, giving the appearance of a continuous beam. As the laser is light, there is little chance for escape or evasion before imminent doom. However, if it is possible to avoid complete annihilation by travelling at high speeds or quickly finding some cover, thus avoiding the rest of the devastating beam, which allows for targets to be clipped but survive. Once the main laser is discharged downrange, the target receives the intense increase in energy as thermal energy, which then proceeds to impart physical changes upon the target. With each passing millisecond, the target is hit by the main laser, the energy levels rise until they become intolerable and result in combustion in the case of vehicles or death. Under normal circumstances, as long as a direct impact is achieved, one laser shot will destroy practically any target. Tanks cannot simply be fired upon at any location, as each has a vulnerable point that must be hit in order to achieve a catastrophic kill with one shot. The Wraith must be fired upon from the vehicle's rear right below the mortar at its power core, or directly aimed at the cockpit. The Scorpion must be hit in the driver's canopy to kill him or her instantly, though to destroy the tank you must aim for the exhaust vents. It is powerful enough to make its way through nine warthogs bumper to bumper. It's also highly effective at destroying scarab leg joints. When fired, the Spartan laser emits a solid state laser beam capable of eliminating all manner of targets in a very large range. When used against infantry such as General Hane chieftains, the laser is capable of efficiently burning through the armour and leaving a clean hole through the target, and also severely damage anything behind the initial target. The laser has also proven effective in anti-vehicle and anti-air roles, with the shot even managing to pierce all the way through the thick armour of a T-52 Phantom. The intense energy of the beam imparts splash damage up to a range of approximately 2 metres from the impact point. A careless operator that discharges the laser while too close to any obstacle 
will instantly be killed. The beam can also penetrate multiple obstacles and or targets provided they are aligned along a linear trajectory. The beam emitted by the M6 and by extension the M8C Spartan laser weapons is typically a bright red, while the variant equipped on the AV-22 Sparrowhawk fires a bluish white beam. The casing of the weapon can hold a BA-53635 PLMD non-rechargeable battery, which is recharged with a PP-16979AM SH charger. UNSC logistics, however, are not sufficient for the charger to accompany most Spartan lasers into the field. The M6 has gone through several iterations, but its changes have mostly been cosmetic. Internal components have changed over time, incorporating incremental advances that have lowered production costs and increased efficiency, but the significant advances in crystal doping and optoelectronic focusing remain largely opaque to the end user. By 2557, Spartan lasers used Series 6971 battery cells to replace the older BA-53635 PLMDs. The Spartan laser, commonly known as the Splaser, is the most powerful small arm available to frontline troops combining long range with lethal force. Most destructible vehicles are often destroyed in a single blast, except in the case of a near miss, in which case the target will still suffer heavy damage. It can also easily strike and kill multiple opponents and vehicles if they are lined up correctly. In the post-Human Covenant War era, its destructive capabilities are only matched by the incineration cannon which is far less accurate than the Spartan laser. As with all powerful weapons, there are a few disadvantages. The Spartan laser needs to charge for 3 seconds before firing and requires another 2 to 4 seconds to cool down after firing. The laser uses 20% of its battery charge per shot, allowing for at most 5 shots. The targeting laser may give away the operator's position and if the opponent sees the targeting beam, they could possibly dodge the shot, thus wasting valuable battery power. This is very unlikely as the targeting beam is very faint and hard to see in the midst of battle and at long distances, however it is possible to hear a charging laser if you're near the operator and thus can enact a countermeasure to prevent the operator from striking. A point blank shot can cause fatal splash damage to the wielder and close range combat with the weapon puts them at risk of being injured or killed by debris. The laser's cycle time is dangerously long, while venting the user is vulnerable to counter attack unless switching to another weapon. Finally, the laser is infamous for the difficulty in aiming the weapon being nearly impossible for inexperienced users to engage quick, erratically moving targets such as infantry units. This is caused by the charging time which mandates that the user keep an accurate lock on his or her opponent lest the laser discharge in vain. Should the target duck behind cover or out of line of sight and the operator cancels the firing sequence, it starts again from the beginning. The Spartan laser is a devastating weapon in its power and accuracy as a fantastic analogue for the Spartans themselves. When wielded by a Spartan with their superior strength and reaction time, the Splazer becomes particularly devastating. It would be interesting to see what future innovations come from the newer Mjolnir platforms and newer iterations of the Spartan laser, as it seems logical that the Splazer could be augmented to siphon energy directly from Mjolnir's reactor, giving the Splazer significantly more ammunition capacity. But alas, at this stage, this is purely conjecture. It's not overpowered. It's an elegant weapon from a more civilized age. Thanks for watching. Sticky comments down below. I look forward to what you have to say. I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons Neek the Silent Cartographer, Brian, Sebastian, Red Sea, Darian, Stalker of the Realms, Falcon X003, and Mr. Fell, the Holders of the Mantle, Black Biscuit, J Rabbit, Austin, Kaiser, Silux, Reclaimer 216, The Revanche, Wolf Slim, Andre, Samantha, and Jake, my Reclaimers, Zack, Deep Cover, Verbal Statue, Spesigo, Spartan, A498, Guppy, Josh, Bastion, Molshar, Night Rise, Sierra, G059, Kenneth, Dylan, and Daniel, my Metarchs, and all the other patrons that have done to support the channel. You guys are awesome, and all of this wouldn't be possible without you. If you like Halo Lord Discuss to Insane Levels of Detail, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you're told the second a new video hits the shelves. Be sure to support us on all major social media channels including Discord, and if you really love the channel, consider heading over to Patreon and supporting the channel over there. It would mean the world to me and would free up more of my time for me to put into this content and other Halo related goodness. Take it easy everyone, and find peace in the domain. <laughs>